Hey there fellow gamers, welcome back to another episode of Allblood Gold, where we dive into the nostalgia filled world of classic games and see how they hold up today. Today we are delving into the grim darkness of the far future with Warhammer 40k Down 4. Now, I have a confession to make. Down 4 wasn't just another game for me. It was my gateway into the vast and brutal universe of Warhammer 40k. From the moment I first booted up this game, I was hooked. And let me tell you, I've played every Warhammer game released since then. But let's rewind a bit. For those of you unfamiliar with the Warhammer 40k universe, imagine a future where humanity is locked in an internal struggle against various alien races, demonic entities and even itself. It's a universe steeped in grim dark war, where every victory is fleeting and every defeat is catastrophic. Now, back to Down 4. The single player campaign thrust me to the heart of the conflict on the planet Tartarus, an imperial colony besieged by the savage orc invaders. As the player, you assume the role of the Space Marines Blood Ravens 3rd Company, led by the stoic Captain Gabriel Angelos. What sets Down of War apart is its gripping narrative, filled with unexpected twists and turns that keep you on the edge of your seat. But it's not just the story that shines, the gameplay is where Down of War truly excels. Down of War is a real-time strategy game that pits you against your foes on the battlefield, where every decision can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The game features a moral system that adds an extra layer of strategy to battles. As your units take damage or witness their comrades fall in battle, their morale will decrease. Low morale can cause units to panic, making them less effective in combat. Conversely, keeping morale high can provide bonuses to your units, making them fight harder and more efficiently. Managing morale adds depth to tactical decision making, as you must consider the psychological state of your troops in addition to their physical well-being. The cover system in Down of War allows units to take shelter behind environmental objects such as walls, buildings and terrain features. Units in cover receive defensive bonuses, making them harder to hit and reducing the damage they take from enemy attacks. Utilizing cover effectively is crucial for protecting your units and gaining an advantage over your opponents. So strategic positioning and terrain analysis play a significant role in determining the outcome of battles as you must balance offense and defense while maneuvering your forces across the battlefield. Down 4 emphasizes squad-based combat. The players control groups of units rather than individual soldiers. Quads can be reinforced with additional soldiers or upgraded with new equipment to enhance their effectiveness on the battlefield. The battlefield in Down of War is divided into strategic points that players must capture and hold to gain resources. These resources are used for building structures and training units. Base building is an essential aspect of gameplay, as it enables you to expand your army, research upgrades and produce powerful units and vehicles. Balancing expansion with defense is crucial, as enemy forces can launch attacks to disrupt your resource gathering and hamper your production capabilities. Overall, Warhammer 40k is down for a combination of squad-based combat, strategic resource management, and tactical decision making makes for a deep and engaging gameplay experience. With a total of 9 playable races across the base game and its expansions, each with their own unique units and playstyles, the gameplay remains fresh and exciting even after all these years. Speaking of expansions, let's talk a bit about those. The three expansions were down for Winter Assault, Dark Crusade and Soulstorm each add their own unique twist to the game. Winter Assault introduces the Imperial Guard faction. Dark Crusade brings in the Necrons and the Tau, and Soulstorm expands the roster with Sisters of Battle and the Dark Elder. With each expansion, the gameplay evolves, offering new strategies and challenges to overcome. But even without the expansion, Town of War stands as a testament to each other defining gameplay. Now, from today's perspective, Down of War may not be the most visually stunning game, but the high quality unit animations and the intuitive user interface ensure that the game remains a joy to play even after all these years. From its gripping narrative to its addictive gameplay, it's no wonder this game has stood the test of time, so if you haven't had the chance to experience the brutal battles of the 41st millennium, I highly recommend giving Down of War a try. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. And that's it for today's episode of All the Gold. Thanks for joining me and until next time, happy gaming!
There, that's the last of them. Well done, Blood Ravens. Victory is ours.